Hey guys, it's Nook. Have you ever wondered how you can build an iPhone app, apps that you use on the iPhone, and now you want to be the developer who creates it, who push your app to the App Store and sell it and become a career, have a career as an iOS developer. How you can do that? Let's talk about that in this video and we will get you started. In order to build apps for the iPhone, iPad, or iPod, or all of the devices in the Apple family devices, you you need to learn something we call iOS programming. What's iOS programming? And what's programming? Well, programming, very, very simple. It means that you show the computer some instructions to do something, to perform a single task, to perform some task. In this case, specifically, you want to tell the iOS operating system which is the software that operates or which is the software that powers apple devices like I, uh, iphone ipad and apple watch all of those things that's what you do that's what us we as a developers do that we tell the iphone instructions to do something let's say you are you want to be on game so you tell the iphone instructions how to display your character how to um maybe like uh, attack some enemies in your game that's what you do you write code to do that okay so let's talk about the other thing how you can start building apps how you can start programming you will need a tool a free tool oh the first thing you need is a Mac a MacBook here I use an iMac here you can use any kind of Mac you can use the a MacBook MacBook Air, any kind of Mac that runs the latest version of uh, OS 10 Mac OS 10 and also you will need Xcode, which is a free software offered by Apple. I will show you how to install this very fast. If you already have that, great. You will need Xcode, which is something we call an IDE, an integrated development environment, which is the software that we use to write all of our apps for Mac, for our Apple TVs, for Apple Watch, for iPhone, for iPads, for iPod all of the Apple devices we use Xcode so let's go over my computer right here and we'll show you how to install this tool all right here we go this is the Xcode which is the software that we are using to build apps for all of the devices that you want to be and especially for iOS now in order to, uh, to download this you need is go to the Mac goes to the App Store Mac App Store and then search for Xcode and then here we go just install that that is this software is like 4 gig of software it will take uh, quite a time to download and so install but just do it normally now the, the the screencast that i'm doing for you right now i am using xcode 8 which is the latest version of xcode that we use a programming language we call swift and we are using the latest version of Swift, Swift 3. So if you want to use that with me, you can go to developer.apple.com and then just sign up for free developer account and then download the Xcode 8 beta, okay? So go ahead, download and install Xcode now and then come back with me. Now I hope that you install Xcode and when you open it, the first thing you'll see is the welcome to Xcode screen. And on the left hand side here, you will see three, uh, three options. The first one is to get started with a playground. Playground is the place for you to just write in some code and then we will see the result immediately. On the, uh, and then you have two other options to create a new Xcode project or to check out an existing project, which is the thing that we use to view iOS apps. On the right hand side, we have the shortcuts for all the existing projects that we are having. Now, let's click the create, get started with a playground to create a new playground. And for this playground, I will say code hangout, which is this shell. And then let's name it variables and constants. Okay, variables and constants, which is the thing that we are talking about in this video. And then I will save it to my developer account or to the desktop. Now the first time that when you open Xcode, it may not look like this because the font and the preferences are changed. So in order to change the preferences, just go to Xcode preferences or command comma. And then goes into the font and color tab. Here I will use my 
preferred presentation style you can change it you can click here command a and then change all of the fonts here using the font picker of mac os like that now a very very important thing is that um the text editor right in the middle the biggest area that here right that is the place where we write our code let's explain that in just a moment on the right hand side you see this like grayish uh, panel that is the result panel for you guys who used to view our web pages that is your browser right here what is which is the result of your code will display right here on the right hand side that's so excited about building apps for iPhone iPads and so all of the Apple devices that use Xcode that's amazing all right that's how you install Xcode and get started with to have all the tools that you need to programming now I want to talk with you about programming in order to give the computer some instruction to do something you need to talk with it right just like you and I when I teach you like this we are using English in other words when you use the computer when you show the computer some instructions when you program with the computer you also need a programming language to talk to it to talk to the computer here we are going to use a language we call it swift swift is a very very awesome awesome language that you are going to love it the learning curve of swift has been dramatically decreased it's just very simple for newbies for new programmers to get a grasp of it now the first thing the first topic I want to talk to you about uh, Swift is something we call it variable variable it is the way that you think of it as a box a box that stores some data a piece of data a piece of information what you do as a developer usually is you store some data you manipulate it and then you process this right um, you are building a, if you're building a social network app someone posts a new post someone posts a new photo you store a photo in a variable you store a photo in a variable and then maybe you process it you manipulate it you send that over the internet that's what you do that's what a developer do now let's go over my computer and I will show you how to create a variable what it is how to create it and then how to do some some weird stuff some fun stuff with that let's do that okay here we go let's create some variables what it is is if you are looking at the the um, text editor right now don't worry hey don't worry about all the lines above here we'll talk about that in the later episode but what it, this line here look at line number five what this do does is it is creating a new variable and the way that we know that is because of this keyword or this syntax we call it var it stands for variable right and we name it str this is the code that xcode already write for us so already generate for us when we create a new playground so we have str equals hello playground like this and then on the right hand side you see immediately that this is hello playground it means that we are creating a variable and we store the value of hello playground which is a string we call it a string a sequence of characters and then we start in the str here now let me demo with you let me show you how to create some other things and we'll learn about data types and variables in swift let's say i want to create a variable called course and i want to tell swift that this course is a string the data type is a string okay it is a string it means that it is a sequence of character and notice that the string here it has to be an uppercase string other in in other words that it has to be the exact syntax the exact vocabulary like this otherwise the computer would not understand what you are talking about right now next so we what we just did is hey swift create for me a variable called course the name is course and it is of typed string and then give it an initial value of let's say um total ios blueprint like this and notice because it is a string and in order to note swift 
Now what you're typing is a string, you have to grab it around a quotation mark like this, otherwise it will not understand. Okay, so this is one of the program that I have. Uh, another thing is variable, we can change its value. That's why we call it variable, right? Let's change this course into equals, let's say Swift programming, like that. And then we have course equals to Swift programming. Okay, and then you see you can inspect the value of a variable by just typing in the name of the variable like this and then on the right hand side you see that it changed from total ls blueprint to swift programming. Now what you notice, what you can notice from here is the way that swift or the way that Xcode executes your code is from top to bottom, left to right. So it will execute, it will read from top to bottom and left to right, okay? Now, let's do other thing. Let's say you want to have a var called language and it's also of type string. And then we give it the first value is Swift. After that, maybe you want to do a software and it's also of type string and let's give it the value of Xcode. Now you may ask, hey Doug, is it just like this? All you do is having some string. Well, Swift can have a lot of other types too. We can have an integer. Let's say var version is an int and we'll do maybe three, which is the current version that we're using, the latest version of Swift. And you can have a Boolean value, which is true or false. So let's do var programming is fun equals uh, I'm sorry, which is a Boolean value, and that equals to true. I hope that you find programming is fun. This right now will get fun. Now, notice that the way that I name this variable, you can name it any way that you like, but the convention that we're using here is something we call a camel case. It means that the first character of the variable is a lower case, and then the next character here of the next word is going to be a capitalized, okay? And then this also uppercase. That will very easily for us to read it. So if you write it like this, programming is fun, like that, it's quite hard to read, right? But if you write programming is fun, like this, it's very, very simple to read and very, very easy to not make a mistake. Next, let's, um, let's change the value of the language here. We have language, equals language equals to maybe we change it into objective c which is the language that we used to use to program ios at and how about we change the version which is this guy over here into something like four okay maybe in the future we have that now the next data type that i want to talk to you about is something we called double which is a real number in math so let's do uh, var maybe price equals to 199.999999 so that is a double okay and to not swift that this is a double you have to do colon double so notice that double is also uppercase all right guys that's how you program we just learned about iOS programming. I hope that you enjoy that iOS programming. We we'll learn about you need a software called Xcode to start programming in X uh, in iOS, and so we learned that variable is a way that you can store a piece of information. You can change it. You can declare the type of the variable. You have a variable name. You learn about camel case in variable. You learn about different data types of variable. We learn about string. We learn uh, integer, double, boolean value, change its value. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment right down below for me so I know what you think about this episode and also goes to dictran.io and join us in our free courses there until then go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world and see you in the next one